Alright, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such, and today we're going to be doing probably one of the stupidest things I will ever do down here. Actually, that's probably going to be a line in a future video, but here's what's happened. I got a fog machine out, and I got three smoke detectors. I think we can all see where this is going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this room with fog, and then we're going to see which detectors trip first. And then everything's going to go off, it'll be great, you'll see all the strobes in the smoke, or the fog. And then I'm going to have to cut the video and evacuate all the smoke out of here before it actually sets off the house alarm. Um, I do have the detector down here, we'll say disabled. Um, just while I'm doing this, I will have three extraction fans running that will actually be pumping air from out of here, out of the house. Uh, so hopefully this will get cleared and I guess let's just dive right in. So I'm going to turn on the fogger and just kind of aim it up a little bit and then uh, we'll watch and see what happens. Whew. Let's hope I don't do anything stupid. Let's, let's go. I got everything silenced, strobes continuing to flash, the room, we're kind of clearing out smoke now. I'm actually kind of glad this panel didn't trip because I didn't want to review reveal the next test yet. Um, Evan Bart 410 if you are watching, you commented that you really like them on, on the two mechanical horns on March time. So that's what I did, that's why those are like that. Um, so we are just at this point letting the fog clear out. Last time I used way too much fog and you couldn't see down here, like the whole basement was just kind of foggy. So I've learned. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, what should we do? We'll hit the push station. Oh, I propped the door back up to let smoke go in there. Um, have a wonderful day.